morning, 6 a.m. Um, I'm just heading off in the car down to Weymouth, there to fish for, excuse me, there to fish for bream and rays and huss and all kinds of other good things. I'm really looking forward to it. Well, it's looking nice. See, he just hasn't consented to be on this video. That's Adam. He's just as much of a toss as the last time he was on here. Martin, were you in the last one? No, I don't think you were. And you weren't, Phil, because you Definitely live. Not. Anyway, that's Phil and that's Martin. And uh, we're all going to catch loads of fish. So Adam and Chris are photographing the cruise ship car park. Um, this is where cruise ships come to die. Um, but really what they should do is, is it? Is yeah. that what you said? Well, that's because we're both very clever. That's true. And uh, you're not to mention my name again. Sorry, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> well, I asked him how have they got a skeleton crew, and he said that each one of them, uh, he was talking to the skipper of the Britannia, I don't know which one that is, but he said that they need at least 100 to 150 skeleton crew. So each one of those has got 100 to 150 people on. So we couldn't even sneak aboard for a laugh. <laughs> Well, we'll get Stevie to do it. Yeah, Stevie would do it, yeah, no, no, climb, he... climb up. Climb up the side, we we'll just take him alongside at, at midnight and he can climb up. Be hilarious. Right, we're um, a mackerel fishing for bait now. As you can see there, I've got mackerel feathers on and they're going down and I'm going to catch some mackerel. Okay, was, that, was he actually good at something? Oh no, I think I don't think I can manage that. Can you have this on camera, please? Oh, yes. Okay, hang on. That is hang on, Lyle. Look, just I've got to get closer. Because this is worth recording. That's definitely worth recording. Take a still of it if you can. Okay. Uh, what is it? A rass? It's a cookie rass, isn't it? I mean a uh, no, it's not a rass. It's a pollock. It is a pollock, of course it is. Chris reckons they're hard on the bottom. Oh, no, look at those monster mackerel. Splendid. I'm Barker. I'm not going to get any. You wouldn't want. Adam. Adam. No, I'm more important than them. There you go. I wasn't paying attention um, or filming when I baited up and dropped down. That's the first drop of the day. It's the most exciting bit. This is the bit before. I'm not talking to myself, I'm talking to the posterity. So this is the best bit of the day. This is the bit before we've lost all hope and uh, are depressed. Fine thing is a mackerel fillet, half a mackerel fillet, hooked twice. I've gone back to this because uh, there don't actually seem to be that many bream about with a squid body and then a squid head hooked through the eyes, which is what Lyle he recommends. On the other hand, he does talk an enormous amount of shit. Oh, look at bream. Look at that. Who caught that then? Phil. So there are some bream bread. Well, obviously, I'll change back to bream next drop down. Look at that. They're both in. Race to the top. Oh, good. I've got the bottom. I'll just leave that for a minute and um, enjoy the fight of these monster bream. 
Look at that. Beautiful rig there. On a... That angler is very lucky to be using their rig. It is all right, isn't it? Really. Yes, I do need tugging off. Okay, it's, it's on. Anyway, here we go. So this is. I'm, go, I'm getting it on camera. So Gla no, Lyle's going to glove me off now. No, he's, he's already come inside me. That was years ago. Really good knots there, Ben. That was about two and a half pound of pressure on that. Break that out. It was, um, just shut up. <laughs> yeah, but do you want to know what that actually was? That was the line having let some line loose to try and jiggle it out. That was a line catching on a rock. So less of your, you know. Lyle, some. Um, I think you were losing my gear. Hmm? Through level of despondency sets in. Yeah, well, that's. I reckon that's always just after lunch. And you realise that a you've had a shit morning. B you still got four hours of this torture to go. Okay, I'll, um, I'll do what you were doing. says bream fishing is brilliant fun. No one. Oh, maybe mine is too. So Adam had a nice little strap conga. If you can see that, look at that beauty. I'm not, I should be focusing on Look at that, he's handling it like an expert. Meanwhile, I am also like a diva. Here it comes. Here it comes any day now. And they hang on. <laughs> Golazzo! That looks more bream shaped. Look at that. <laughs> I am. And then handed me the rod just before the fish took. That looks two and a half, three. Probably three, yeah. PB? Uh, I think my best is three, six. I mean, is that close to that? It might be. Okay, well, let's, let's give it away. To who? Even. Three, two. Looks more like a 214 to me, being kind. <laughs> Camera. You are a cunt. <laughs> Ooh, double header. <laughs> what, what do you want to do? <laughs> Thanks. Look at that. And that's only a skillful angler can do that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Phil's, I mean, Phil, I taught Phil everything he knows. That's why he's such a twat. Is that a record of any sort, Ben? That's a, that's a, is that, is that um, elastic? Yeah, no, no, it's braid. Yeah. No, we've got a bigger tangle than that, okay. definitely. We have decent house. Look at this. Sorry, 
Right, right. Oh, that is a nice husk. That is the biggest one I've seen. Is that going to go double? I mean, it's no, never coming out the net, obviously. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because it'll save them a lot of money. I mean, conga might be at least. Hmm. Or two, or a bass. It did actually swim towards me to start with. This is more of a bassy thing to do, isn't it? Yep. No, no, it's still there, but it is swimming up. No, unless there were two and it's now only one. Ooh. Bigger than the other one? Yeah, I think that's probably near a four, that bed. That? Is a nice fish. It certainly went well, didn't it? It did go well. What's he going to go? 312. 3.12, not bad. In fact, brilliant. New PB. I'll get one too. How, do we think it's the same sort of size? Oh, well done. Oh, sh I, I, and I filmed that. I think that's filmed. So that's that's definitely going in the uh, in the final cut. Oh, look at me first, because I'm more important than Lyle. Fuck Lyle. <laughs> oh, right, okay, right, so it's, it's my fault, is it? 100%. Is that a strap, Chris? Yeah. Let's have a look. So this is the, this is the average size. Is this the sort of size you were getting yesterday? Yeah. So, Smaller, Let's have a look at it being expertly T-barred off. It's good when they weigh this much, isn't it? <laughs> right, so this is Lyle in his day job. Let me just remind you, this is what he does every day of the year. For a living. For a living. <laughs> right. So the last thing he needs is terrible publicity. I'm going to share this on green pieces. Hey. And now this is the bit we will show. Is returning a con... No, get off and just put it back. <laughs> you are a tosser. <laughs> so there's Phil battling what we think is a ray. Oh, that is a ray. Hooray. See what I did there? All the way into the net. Right. Well done. No, there's so many huge ones. That's about 10, isn't it? Yeah, about 10. Nice bit of breaming now. That was lovely. You know, that was the best breaming I've we've had for a long time. You know, we're turbot fishing, which involves towing a mackerel strip along the bottom of the shambles, waiting for a bite giving it some line and then uh, hooking into what we hope is an enormous turbo. Shit, shit. Hmm? Super, I'm never landing that with this. Uh, well, but nobody else minds. I would ra rather try and land it. If it's a tope, it'll just bite through. I mean, oh, maybe.
Why can't it be just be an enormous turbot like we were talking about? Uh oh, uh oh. Uh, oops. Sorry, everyone. Obviously, sorry, not sorry. Do you know? Do you know? Oops. Oh. This is quite exciting. What's, uh, what's my rate speed on? Uh, 30 pound. Yeah, can't really. Do it. Yeah, they don't bite through 30 pound line. They're, they're notorious. Come on up, you come. You know it's going to be a, like a five pound blood ray, don't you? You know that, don't you? I've got form on that score. Oh, come on, that's a bloody knot. There we go, it's the leader, I think. Yep. Okay, Blondie. Not what I was expecting. Yeah, that isn't bad, is it? Well, I'm Ray. He is. Twenty-one and a half. PB. Awesome. So two PBs today. And down he goes. We're now off fish some rough ground on the back of the shambles for undulates, type variety and green. Sorry Martin. Okay, here we go. Phil is fishing in quite a lot of time with a pound and a half of lead and sensibly he's chosen a 12-20 rod. Uh, we're all hoping that this fish here is a dogfish because we're that kind of crew. Well I'm that kind of crew, everyone else is probably hoping it's a really nice fish. Lyle is because it makes him look good. I think it's come off. I think it might just let go. Oh, it was a dogfish. Let's, let's be generous and say it was a huss. Maybe it's a bass swimming towards you. There's another gentleman playing fish. Chris, you in? That bend of that on that 90 class rod. <laughs> the race is on. Chris versus Phil. Who is the bigger cut? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just a dogfish hanging. Oh, that's a bite. There we go. Give you some line. I'm going to get this dogfish. Don't leave me. Oh, look, here it comes. I can see colour. Yeah, it's your Muppet. Come on, Chris. Give us some stick. But gently, <laughs> exactly. We know the lines. Not you as well. Oh, for goodness sake. You're not, you haven't got fish as well, have you? Mine's been on for half an hour. Well, it should make more of a fuss then, instead of being all grown up. That's very, it's good for you, you know. Look at that. Well, let me go further back into my space, into my social space that Phil is not going to kick me out of this time now that I've been told. Let me film this action. Who is going to bring their enormous fish in first? Oh, there's a bold prediction there from Martin. He's Chris showing it no mercy, treating it with the disdain that it deserves. 
Chris has got a lovely ray. Undulate ray, look at that. Very, very pretty. Well, Martin's got a ray. Yeah, that's Martin's ray. Oh, he's playing it well if it is. It's not fighting, is it? It's not fine, to be honest. Well, either way, it's a good story for the for the uh, for the club video. Finally, got the anchor broke. Yep. Also, Ben can let this bike not develop. Yeah, it's not developing. There's something there trembling away. It's probably a, a poor cord. Yeah. Good for them, hmm? It's good for them out here. Yeah, no, I... It's just a stone. Oh, it depends how big it is, though. Because, I mean, our record stone is... Oh, that, look at that. Do you see that bite? I'll tell you how big it is. It's 14 pounds. No, because that's, that's a real stone. That then becomes a rock. Oh, not a bad one. I don't think it's a record, but it's definitely worth recording. Picture that on the orange bucket. Yeah, right, so I didn't get, I'm the only one who didn't catch anything on this last mark. Right, heading back in now after a lovely day. We have had a lovely day, haven't we had a lovely day? Some nice bream, some rays, some other fish. Yeah, it's good.